Hello everyone. So I'm back today with another little tutorial for you. A really nice, quick, easy card today. It's called a double trifold card. Because you can see there's a trifold and you've got two of them, one on top of the other. So a nice, really easy card. So in this example, I've put this second, the smaller trifold in the center, but you can al always do it up to the edge or in the middle, offset it, whatever you want. And I decorated it with some Nitwits papers again, which I've printed off. And these are from the Coastal Kit, which I'll add a link to in the description below. So grab some cardstock, grab some papers and toppers, grab your scoreboard and cutting tool, and let's get going. So to make the card, I'm going to be using some Rich Red foundation cardstock today because I just like how it goes with the coastal papers. So I've got two sheets of that ready to go. I've also printed off one sheet from the coastal knitwits paper. I've used some ice paper here to print it off. You can see really nice quality there. And I've actually printed off some panels from the kit here and just resized it down to uh, two and three quarters by three and three quarters. But you could just use some more decorative paper. Just got another element as well for later on. But obviously the design, totally up to you. So let's get going. Let's get our trimmer first. So I'm going to make my card base first. So as I said, it's going to be a five by seven. So I'm going to cut it at seven inches tall. And then I'm going to cut it at 11 inches. So seven by 11. So that's going to be my base. I'm just going to have my other piece. And the second one is going to be four inches. by nine. And that's all the cutting we need. So let's grab our scoreboard and you'll be glad to know nice easy scoring today. So I've got the long edge along the top of my scoreboard and I'm going to score at three and six. You can see then, that's where I'm left with my five by seven back. So three and six, grab the other one again, long side across the top, and three and six. And that's it for our scoring. Let's start on the base. So I'm going to grab my score tool and I'm going to fold it. Well, it's not in half, is it? But you know what I mean, in half that way. And then fold it back on itself. So we get that Z shape there. And then with the other one, we're going to do exactly the same. I'm going to bring it back like that. score them both. So they're both in exactly the same orientation today, like that. And I find it easier now to decorate it before gluing it together, but you definitely need to uh, decorate the back beforehand. So that's all I do is look at my panels and whatever the height and width is, just go down a quarter of an inch. So this one for a five by seven, will be four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And 
just centralize it there. Grab my Teflon tool. And then these were three inches, so these are two and three quarters. And again, six and three quarters tall. I'm going to put it here because I think if I'm right, I took it out from the one sheet. Yes, we've got pattern going across now. And this is exactly the same again. It was three, uh, two and three quarters by six and three quarters. So that's my card base done. So I think this could be one of my favourite backing papers. Just look at the details on that. Okay, so now this is going to be stuck in the middle like this. What we might do actually is grab some double-sided tape as well because I'll just keep it in place for now so that it doesn't move. Right. So I've got it in the same fold direction as my main card. And I'm just placing it where I want it. And I'm just going to take some double-sided tape and run it down the length. So I've just opened that first flap and run my tape down the right-hand side. And when I fold this, I'm going to run some tape between those two points. So it doesn't have to reach the top. those out of the way and now when I close it that's going to touch today and that's going to touch and it's just going to hold both of my sides in place there we go and that is your card base for your double trifold card so I've got like I said I could have done some of the backing papers again here chosen a different one but I've taken the opportunity to use some of these pieces which come in the kit. I think I did four in the end. I only need three, but I think I did four because I have space and I can then work out which ones I want to use. So I've got one here where I just place the anchor on top of the note card. This one then, I've bring that one in overlap the anchor so we've got a bit sticking out so when you're decorating just keep in mind the outer edge you can actually decorate off this smaller section quite easily and the reason I printed this set spare one was just in case my lighthouse didn't uh, covered over it which it doesn't so I think I'm going to go for this one which overlaps on the front so let's have a look here and then as I open it up let's have a look at this one so again I just took the blank note card and layered some of the images on top. So this boat one is all one, but I added the gull, then I added the sentiment and added an extra, extra gull to the top. So this now is going to go on the back. I just get you wondering what I'm doing here. I've just got some uh, black distress ink on my tool. Not much, just a little bit. I'm just going around to take off 
that white edge. Not an essential. So I'm going to place that onto the back one. And then this middle one is going to be where I write to the uh, to the recipient. So I should I go for the no, I'm going to go for the plain one. center. There we go. And I think I'm going to raise this with some foam tape. and attach my lighthouse onto the front. I think there we are. So there you have a double trifold card which fits into a 5x7 envelope using coastal papers from Nitwits. Of course, you could use whatever papers you wanted. And if you do make this card, if you feel like I inspired you to have a go, I would love to see what you come up with. So I'd love for you to go over to Facebook and join my group, Paper Crafting with Paul. I shall add a link to the description below as well. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and write a nice little comment for me below as well. I really do like to read what you think. So there we go, double trifold using Coastal by Nitwits. So until next time, happy crafting.